watch this late action. See it run down and away. You talk about a 13 mile per hour difference between the two. Very hard to stay on that as a hitter. Lefties have had more success than righties against Hill this season, hitting 295 against him. And Tim Corbin has loaded his lineup with lefties tonight, including the switch hitter Young. They'll have five in the batting order, mm -hmm. including a rare start for Spencer Jones at DH. Wonder if he's going right back to what's been his best pitch so far, and that's that changeup. Fastball command looks just a hair off. Mm -hmm. And that's really the story for Jaden Hill this year. Fastball command has been a little bit off really all year long. And, and it's not big misses, Tom. It's small misses like we've seen in this game. It's a ball or two off the outside corner, a ball or two off the inside corner. But it's been enough to get him behind and get him in these situations. And I fully expect he goes right back to the change up here at 3 2. Two in scoring position to pay off. Change up, wave that. Hill avoids trouble. Vandy strands a pair. When we return, it'll be Jack Leiter time for Vanderbilt. Hadn't allowed a hit in his last two starts. We don't want to overhype the return of the Quesalupas cheese stuffed shell, so we're skipping the theatrics. Oh, man. Uh, well, we were skipping the theatrics. Anyway, the Quesalupa from Taco Bell is back, and we think you'll like it. Tommy John is for men who value themselves and their comfort, who want fabrics that are lightweight, breathable, and insanely soft, with stay-put waistbands that adapt for the perfect fit. 360-degree stretch prevents ride-up and supports any move you make, and mind-blowing innovations like our quick-draw fly. We've also reinvented loungewear. Yeah, loungewear. You can trust our thousands of five-star reviews, because Tommy John knows how comfortable you want to be. Get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com. Jack's got some stuff that, you know, is should be illegal in terms of what you're allowed to throw. Swing and a miss on 97. I'd say an older kid in a younger kid's body, and he's just, yeah. he's a boy's he's a boy's professional. It's just like it's the whole kitchen sink. Trying to face him, it makes you really have to focus in on what your approach is and what you're looking for, because he can give you five different pitches under that bat, and it's just like you have no idea what you can stop. This is Jack Leiter, 6'1", 205-pound sophomore to Summit, New Jersey, from Del Barton School, consensus preseason All-America by five publications, six starts this season. He's won all six. He hasn't allowed an extra base hit. He's allowed one earned run. He's got a whip of .56. The numbers are silly. Tell me about the stuff. Well, the stuff is as silly as what the number says it is. Fastball up to 97. He'll challenge, and that is best, definitely his best pitch. Something a little special with it. I love mentality. It's a football mentality with just number one stuff. And if you got to stay in the Vanderbilt theme about him, I'm always think about Carson Fulmer mentality. Like, I'm coming after you, but it's Walker Bueller stuff. And not Walker Bueller stuff when he was at Vanderbilt, although he was a first-rounder. It's Walker Bueller stuff right now with the Dodgers. It's big time. Here's a look at LSU's batting order, second in the nation in home runs. Dylan Cruz has already made a play with his glove. He's riding a five-game hit streak with a couple of home runs in that span. It'll be Trey Morgan to lead things off. He had a fantastic series last week against Tennessee. And a first-pitch fastball at 94 up and in. Morgan hit 429 last week against the Vols. He's a 327 hitter, a freshman from New Orleans. Future big leaguer. And the count goes to one and one. Lighter wastes no time, Ben. He is on the rubber and ready to go. It's quick and it's coming right at you with your best stuff. I mean, that's what he does.
You saw the highlights from the South Carolina no hitter primarily one pitch working for him that game was a fastball he mixed it up last time out against Mizzou. Two and two. Yeah those numbers I mean look 36 innings pitch you mentioned it seven hits he's given up in 36 innings pitch doesn't even sound right and not an extra base hit yet. Swing and a miss. He dispatches Morgan. And there's one down and Jack Ladder picking up right where he left off. Yeah. And here it is, just a fastball that explodes right to the outside part. But what set that up was those two fastballs on the inside corner, and he moves it 18 inches over on the outside part of the plate. Here's a freshman, Will Safford, at the plate. First pitch in for a strike. The numbers. Aren't on Safford's side. He's a true freshman from across the street at University High. Lefties are just two for 47 against Jack Leiter this season. And his first curveball misses upstairs. You're going to see a curveball. You'll see a slider, a changeup, two different breaking balls. Oh, a fastball at his face. That is a fair ball down the line, a late pickup and throw, and it's off the glove of Dominic Keegan. Talk about an excuse me hit for Will Safford. He was just trying to get out of the way. I mean, what just happened here? Fastball up and in, and I mean, almost off of his fingers and his face. Ball is fair as he gets down the line. You'll see Safford go right down to his knees. He realized the ball's in fair ground. He gets up and takes off to third baseman, Jason Gonzalez. You see him pulled over in a shift position by the time he gets there. Not much on the throw. First baseman, Dominique Keegan, can't come up with it. How about that? They're going to rule it a throwing error by Jason Gonzalez. E5.